Hey everybody, what's up? It's Ryan here from Flame Gadgets, and today I have the review for you of Verizon's HTC Thunderbolt running 4G LTE. Now, this may be a little late for some of you guys, but um, all I have to say is it's a really great phone. Um, so let's get on into this review. So first to start off, this is made by HTC. It's running on Verizon Wireless's um, 4G LTE network, and it costs for with a two-year contract it costs two hundred fifty dollars so and then you need to get the 4g plan so now here's the picture of the thunderbolt right here and i'm just gonna show you the 360 spin of it now i do not have the phone i have the iphone 4 right here just because I'm an Apple fanatic. Sorry about that. But um, I'm going to start off with the front. So if you guys would just take a quick look at the Thunderbolt right here. It's going to be spinning around a little bit. So here we go. So to start off, here is the Thunderbolt. Now this is running on Android um, Android firmware. Um, so it does all the apps like it's basically like the iOS apps, but um, it's a little different. I had a Droid before, but let's get on. It has a front-facing camera. Um, I believe it has a 1.3 megapixel camera. Let me just take a look. 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera. And then 8 megapixels in the back. It shoots HD video. So I believe right here is where the camera is where my mouse is and the speaker is right here now as we turn it around to the side here we have our volume rockers now this phone is on the bigger side but it is very has a very sleek design now here we have our 8 megapixel camera our microphone our flashes there are two flashes here um, we have a kickstand on the back, we have the HTC logo, 4G LTE, and I am really not sure what this little black thing on the bottom is. Now, as you can see right here, there's a little indent up at the top, and that is where, um, that is where, uh, the, um, where your headphone jack will go, your standard headphones. And if you can really see it, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a sleep button. Now we're going to move it to the side. And here we have our mini USB um, import slot. And that's for charging your phone, connecting it to the computer to sync music to it. And now we're going to get a size comparison. So let's full. Whoops, that's my bad gonna go to size now it is 480 inches tall this way it is point 52 inches thick so that would be like that and then um the bottom is 2.60 inches um so compared to like a trifold wallet it's a little tiny bit bigger and it's thinner compared to a miniature um, notebook. It's a little smaller, or I'm not sure if that's a paper clip. And then compared to a an average size sticky notes, um, it is just about. I'm gonna have to say maybe about maybe like an inch to like seven point seventy five or seventy I don't know point seventy five of an inch. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I don't know. But um so this is it full screen. Now I'm just gonna move it around for you guys a little bit. We're gonna take a little closer look at the phone. Okay, so as you can see right here a little bit better. 
now you guys can see the um the front facing camera a little bit better um it I I can't really show you it with the call right now because everywhere I move my mouse that's where it goes so you can see the speakers and I'm just going to move down Dude, I was trying to guys. and and yeah I can't get it to go all the way so I'm just going to reset it for you guys and I'm going to get it there and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see all the buttons. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like this review, um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.